Okay, so we have an update with uh, Kitty Sessions. In this video, I'm going to show you how that works and um, how I set it up and how it works compared to the previous video that I released. If you don't know what I'm talking about or if you want to see the way that I ran this in the past, you'll be able to find this video. Where is it? Kitty Sessions and uh, no, this one goodbye Tmux six days ago. And in that video, I run a Kitty instance on each macOS desktop, right? So if I bring up the different desktops here, I used to have each one of them in a separate desktop and I don't like that at all, but that changed recently. COVID implemented some changes and now I can use a single Kitty instance. So we're gonna do the same dynamic that we did the last time, which is play a song. Which one are we going to be playing today? And I'll try to finish the video within this time. I'm not going to have time to finish within the time, but whatever. Okay, so it's this song by this band. I'm going to leave the link in the video description. So remember, I only have one shot and um, I'm not going to edit the video. So when I play all the way when the song finishes, um, I'm not going to make any edits. I don't think I'm going to make any edits at all in the video. So if it has any mistakes, um, it's fine. So on the count of one, we're going to hit play and start the song. Okay, so remember, it's this one. It's going to be in the video description. And it's also going to be in the in the first comment pinned in the in the comment section. Okay, so I'm going to count from three. So one, when I say one, we hit play at the same time. Okay, so let's do it. Three, two, one. Okay, you did it. Hope you did it. It's a pretty cool song, by the way. And the reason I do this is so that I don't get a copyright strike if I play the music, but you can listen to what I'm listening while I'm recording the, the video. Okay, so let's go here and see what topics we're gonna cover today. So in the old video, I already showed this. Okay, so multiple instances of Kitty. So I had to organize them in different desktops. I don't like that at all. Okay, so that's not the case anymore. So now it feels more like Tmux, like a multiplexing solution actually okay so you'll notice as well that my keyboard is a little bit bigger you can see it down here just so you can see what keys i'm typing but this is not the, the usual size okay so um okay one of the things that changed is that i don't keep track of the session name in sketchy bar anymore why because i don't need to okay i did that in the past because i had no choice I like it better this way. So I'm going to switch to a session right now. This is the dot files latest session. Okay. So if I switch to a different session, you can see the session name here at the very top. Or if I switch to this other one or to this home session, which is a different one. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. You can see that session name right there. Okay. So, um, Previously, I used to have the session name here in Sketchy Bar. Kitty, colon, and then the session name. What's cool, you can save a little bit of space here, but I didn't have tabs. Yeah, I had tabs, but they were hidden. Now, tabs are not hidden anymore, so they work like Tmux Windows, right? So when I create a new tab, I can have splits in that tab and I can have multiple tabs per session. You're going to see that in a little while. Okay. So mark this. Okay. I don't have to be moving Kitty OS windows to separate Mac OS desktops. If you don't understand what this means, go and watch the other video that I mentioned. I'm also going to leave it in the video description. So let's first take a look at this option in the Kitty configuration file. Create a new tab only for a specific session. Okay, so if I jump here and I'm in my Kitty configuration file, 
it's map command t okay where is it command t this map command t this is just to create a new tab okay and for that specific session so i'm in the dot files latest session right now and i'm gonna do command t notice that a new session is created another one is created i can navigate between the tabs just the same way that i do it in my browser okay and i can close the tabs as well the same way that i do it in my browser okay that's the way that i do it so create new tab that's the option that I showed here, just keep that in mind. What else? Okay, tab bar only shows tabs from the current active session. This is another option that you will need to add. So if I switch here and I go down, where is it? Or if I go up, this, okay, to show only tabs from the currently active session. We didn't make it on time. No, the song already finished. We're gonna see what plays next, or we're gonna play a different song. It's fine. Um, okay, you know what? We're gonna choose a different song. So if I come here, a longer one, this one. This is 13 years ago, and it includes three songs, okay? The same one that we already listened to, but um, live. Oh, this is a beautiful song, the three of them. I don't know if you're gonna play it on time. Let's do something. Just gonna go back here. We're gonna count again. Three, two, one. There we go. And it's this song. I'm also going to leave it linked in the... Um, video description okay so let's go back then okay i'm gonna show you this in a little while what i was showing you was this okay yep so you have to make sure to add this as well in the kitty configuration file you can take a look at the file here at the very top here's the path for the file and here's the name of the file it's just the kitty configuration file okay so make sure you add this because otherwise when you create a new tab, it's gonna show up in all the different sessions and that's not what you want. Okay, so if I open a tab here and I go to my node session, notice that the tab is not there, right? So if I jump, if I go back to the previous session, the tab is there and that's the only place where I want that tab to be, okay? So um, if I go here, I don't want that tab there and um, that's what that does, okay? So make sure to at that as well. How do you automatically open new of them in a new session? Because that's something that I do as well. Okay, so um, just look at this for a little while. The three of them singing. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so open new of him. Okay, that's what I was going to show you right now. So I'm going to close Kitty. Or, yeah, you know what? I'm going to show you something right now. Okay, so notice that I have four files open in new of him here. Okay, how can you tell? If I bring up the buffers that I have open, it's this four buffers open, okay? I'm in the kitty con file right now. On this that files session, I'm gonna close kitty completely. And when I reopen, and I'm not running Tmux right now, but when I reopen, it's going to open or restore my session. And I'm gonna keep the exact same four files open. This is just to demonstrate that I don't need Tmux. I don't need that Tmux Resurrect plugin. I used that in the past, but it's just overkill for me. I don't understand the, the use case, but I don't need more than this. When I open Kitty, 
I open NeoVim all the time. Doesn't matter what session I go to. So if I go to my notes, I always open NeoVim. I restore the session from NeoVim. Or if I go to my dot .files, same thing. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The four files that are open right now. So I'm going to quit Kitty completely. Oh, hold on. Here. Okay, now Kitty is gone. Notice that I'm in ghost here. Okay, so I'm going to bring up Kitty. Okay, here's my session. Just going to close this tab. Here's the session. Here's the dot .files latest. I'm going to open another session, my notes. Let me go back to my dot .files and I'm going to restore here. I'm just going to type the letter S. That's going to restore the session. The exact same files that I had open are open again. Here you can see them. So the session is handled in NeoVim. I use the LazyVim distribution. I'm not sure how Folky does this. I think it has to do with the dashboard plugin. Just go and look up in the repo and you'll be able to figure it out. So just to demonstrate that me personally, I don't need Tmux for this at all. Okay. So um, I'm going to mark this as done. Open new tabs, navigate them, close them. Okay. So I jump to this session. How do I open new tabs? Command T, just the same way that I do it in my browser. Notice that I opened a lot of different tabs. I close them the exact same way. I have a key map in Canada to close tabs, which is leaving S pressed. And then I just type W, just close system like that. And uh, how do you navigate between the different tabs? The same way that I do it in my browser, right? So just like this. Me personally, I do it this way, okay? And um, what else? Close them. You already saw how I did that. Well, probably I didn't explain it quite well. Yeah, it's W. That's the way that I do it. And I don't remember the exact command to close them. Let's see. Close tab. Close tabs. You'll be able to find that in the Kitty configuration file, the default Kitty configuration file. And... um. Okay, new panes. Let's take a look at that. And we're going to see the different layouts that um, Kitty has available. So in Kitty, panes or splits are called uh, windows. So that's a little bit confusing. In Tmux, we know these as panes. In Kitty, they're called windows. Okay, how do I open it? With No, with command enter, I think it is. Okay, so if I switch to this session, Create a new tab. And I want to have multiple panes in here. Command enter. Notice that it's going to create multiple panes. And it's creating them in this layout that is called fat. But I can change that. I can switch it to the tall layout. Take a look at this. Notice that the panes are in a different layout right now. And I can switch between the different panes. Hold on, what happened there? That's a filter or something. Why is that circle in the middle? Okay, there we go. So I'm not sure what that is in the middle. I think it must be another tool, but just don't pay attention to it. Okay, so what is that? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to switch to them this way. And um, how do I close panes? With another shortcut, these two keys, which are command and option W, that's the way that I close them. And uh, where can you see that? Here, kitty mod plus W. And what is kitty mod? Let's just search for it. Mod. Here, I just defined kitty mod as command option. That's just something that I configured. And, um, Yep. How did I change the panes? If I come here and look for layout, I have these three shortcuts. So I can change between the three different layouts. There's more. These are the three that I have configured. Tall, fat, and stack. Okay, now, what is this stack layout? It's pretty interesting. So let me switch to this tab. And I'm just going to open three different um, windows. Okay, now... Notice what happens when I switch to the stack layout. Uh, let me switch here to... No. 
Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the layout to stack. So notice that now each one of the windows, as Kitty calls them, is behind each other. So how can I switch between them? You can see there, right? There's no number here. Three, two, one, right? So just different, um, all of them in stack mode. If I switch the layout to tall, to fat, or to stack, it's up to you. However you want to configure them. And I'm just going to switch to the other tab. Notice that each tab has its set of windows, right? And uh, what else? Stack mode, every demo this. The window, the window layout and the session file. Okay. So if I come here and I go to this session file, blog post, I can specify the layout or when I open the session. I want it to be in the tall layout. But if I go to the home session, oh yeah, all of them are tall. You can see it on the on the right hand side. So you can specify that when you create a new session. Okay, now, if you have questions about all of this, I have asked a lot of questions to COVID in this discussion. So the X is going to take us there. And uh, yep, you can go to the very bottom of this file and uh, you'll be able to find the information there. Let's see. Yep, there's been a huge discussion going on there. COVID has been really helpful. So if you ever watch this COVID, really appreciate all the help. Now, I'm still using Ghosty, as you're able to see here, for some things, okay? For this daily note, why? Because it's something dynamic. There's another script involved that creates a team accession every time that I um, open the daily note. And it also creates this file. I'll migrate this to Kitty eventually, but I just haven't taken a look, but I will in the future. I also have a Tmax cleanup script. If I don't access a Tmax session in two hours, I think it is, it automatically cleans the session up. I'm not sure if this is possible in Kitty. I don't know if Kitty returns the last time that you access the, a session. I'll ask COVID, and if that's possible, I can do a cleanup script there as well, but we'll see. So those are the updates that I have so far. Um, I love the way that this is going. I'm not using Tmux, at least for these couple sessions that I have here, and I'm just using Kitty. Still using Ghosty for this, but mainly I'm using Kitty at the moment, and um, it's looking good, okay? But um, we'll see. So um, let's see. Yeah, the song is about to finish. Now, I just want to thank the, um, the people that support me, okay? The CEO, the first CEO is Web23, web23.com. I'm going to leave the credits somewhere around here. So just want to thank all the different members, the executive producers, YouTube members, everyone that supports me. And uh, if you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. Hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.